All right, Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Kradash, the ones to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel, which is us, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. I'm the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And I'm here with a um, with a quick lesson. This is gonna be just uh, more to add to the spirit, or another lesson done to add to the spirit that uh, John the Baptist indeed was in the truth. And uh, I'm gonna bring out a series of scriptures to to unequivocally prove it. Okay, uh, there's been many videos done on this topic by. The, uh, the apostles and the different uh, elders and brothers throughout Great Millstone on this particular topic. So I'm sure, or I, I hadn't read, I watched maybe a couple of them, you know. So I'm not sure if these scriptures got brought out, but I'm sure they did most likely get brought out in the various lessons that was done. So, um, like I said, this is just to add and also not only to add, but to push out the energy that John the Baptist was in the truth and that he's a very important man <clears throat> in our nation. You know, so let's get into the scriptures. Right, so let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to start at the, from the book of Luke, the first chapter of the fifth verse. It says, There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judah, I mean Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias of the course of Abia. It says, and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And it says in verse 6, I'm going to read all the way. The point is in verse 15, but I want to give the backdrop of the birth of uh, Eli. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, well, it, it is Elijah through the reincarnation. But John the, uh, John the Baptist, it says, And they were both righteous before the Most High, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. And they had no child because Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now well stricken in years. And it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before the most high in the order of his course so john the uh, uh, baptist was a, a levite okay as we see his father was a, a levite uh reading on uh, and it came to pass let me read this again and it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before the most high in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, his light was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. <laughs> I was letting you know this is not no regular or average Israelite that's about to be born, you know. Leading is, is is preparing your mind to let you know as you read, this is a, about to be somebody great, you know. So let's read on. This is the uh, the point, the focal uh, verse. It says, "For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord." <laughs> how the how is John the Baptist gonna be great in the sight of the Lord, but not being the truth? But let's read on because. This uh, lesson is gonna further prove that he was in the that he was in the truth. 
uh, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And and he, so this man was gonna be separated onto the to to Yahweh from really from birth. <laughs> kind of like a similar situation with uh with Samson. So how is this man not in the truth being this close to the Most High? You know, but let's read on. It says, and he shall be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. Now, the Spirit, what is the Holy Spirit ultimately? Let's find out through Scripture. We're going to just let the Scriptures talk. Now, we just read that John the Baptist was going to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So let's read this. This is St. John chapter 14, verse 16. It says, and I will pray and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Now, the comforter is another word for the Holy Spirit. Let's look at it real quick. Let's see, uh, right. So I'm getting straight to the point. Matter of fact, because I'm actually, I got to get in here to this uh, job and I'm a little strapped for time. So let me let the uh, blue letter play this. Strong's G, 3875. Paracletus. Paracletus. I'm jumping straight to it. It says right here down, if we read, it says, of the Holy Spirit destined to take the place of, it says, Christ with the uh, apostles. And I'm, I'm going to stop right there. And brothers can go back and look this definition up for themselves. But it's talking about the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Now let's go back to the scripture. Okay. It says in verse 17. Well, let me read verse 16 again. And I will pray the Father, and he shall send you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even, so it's letting you know, it's, it, the even is talking about, still talking about the comforter or the, the uh, Holy Spirit. Even the spirit of truth. So it's telling us right here that the comforter or the Holy Spirit, even is the spirit of, is the spirit of truth. Whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him him not, neither knoweth him, but ye shall, I'm sorry, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. And this was in uh, uh, John the Baptist, because it said he was going to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, what is the Holy Spirit? We read it right here. It's the spirit of the truth. So, the truth was in John the Baptist. So, of course, he was in the truth, because he was filled with the truth. He was filled with the Holy Spirit. Let's get one more scripture and I'm going to wrap this up. This was not uh, intended to be a long video. I just wanted to get straight to the point. Uh, um, by default, well, not by default, by divine uh, predestination. Okay. John the Baptist was going to be in the truth. Because he was going to be filled with the truth. This is uh, 1 John 5 and 6. It says, well, yeah, I'm going to get straight to the point. It says, this is he that came by water and blood, even Yahweh Shabbat Not by water only, but by the water, but, I'm sorry, but by water and blood. And it is the spirit that beareth witness because the spirit is truth now if you go into this word spirit it's talking about the holy spirit too and i looked it up and what i'm gonna do is i'll um uh, you know brothers if if you happen to watch this anybody happen to watch this video you can look up the word for yourself and uh it's going to tell you that this is talking about the holy spirit so john if we go back to um uh, john the baptist if we go back to luke 1 and 15 and say he was going to be great in the sight of the Most High, he was going to be separated unto the Most High, uh, and he was going to be um, 
filled with the Holy Spirit. So, and the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. So John the Baptist definitely was in the truth because the truth was in him. So of course he was in the truth. So with that, uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying and exhorting unto the spirit. And once again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the spirit. And peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.